up? It's me, Jenny B, and today I am testing out a product, this Curl and Straighten 2-in-1 flat iron. Yep, it has curved plates. Where did I get it? Wish. I risk, risked it and bought it off Wish. So, a little crazy. Um, I don't recommend buying anything off of Wish because it takes forever and it's kind of, who knows if it's going to work or not. So, this one does work. But and it has temperature control. You can adjust the temperature to there below. You see me twisting the bottom thing where the cord is, and you can bring the temperature up and down. It goes up to 450 degrees. It does get pretty hot, so I would say it's 450 degrees. Um, the plate twisted plates intrigued me, so I needed to check it out for myself. So I do have a link down below for one that looks exactly the same that is on Amazon. Um, so I trust Amazon a lot better than I do Wish, but I was curious. So I have my brush there to smooth the hair out. I like the boar bristles. Bristles, I can talk very well today. Um, I have the boar bristle brush that works great to smooth out hair. I like it for um, doing styling. So here I am sectioning some pieces off. I got my little clips. See, ta-da! And I'm clipping the sides clipping both sides out of the way so that I can focus on the back. So there I go, clipping away. And where's the clip? There it is. So I do very minimal sectioning. I don't do a lot of sectioning when I um, do hair nowadays. So I'm just getting my first section and clipping the rest out of my way and here goes the first test so it's definitely a learning curve with this twisted flat iron um, you, you can do it a um, lot loose um, lo you could do loose curls or tighter curls um, you see me get the curls a little bit tighter as I go just trying to get the angle right so you definitely twist it around the flat iron the same way you would with a regular straight flat iron. And I twist the hair. That one wasn't, was very underwhelming. It did not curve very much. Um, I probably went too fast down the hair shaft. So the slower you go, the curlier it gets. So I start learning the tricks as I go through and play with the flat iron. So I'm just going through those same motions through this whole thing. So I take the flat iron and start um, going through, smoothing it between the plates to make sure the hair is nice and smooth, and then wrapping it around the curling iron, or the flat iron, I should say. Well, I guess it's both. Um, and making sure that the hair is going through and then sliding it down. And again, a nice little curl. A nice little curl. It starts out with a more looser curl and then I finally get the hang of it. So it's definitely something you need to practice and get the right technique down. So I'm just going through and doing that. Um, I do switch angles of the way I curl. You'll see that right here. So I start to go over and then I go under. So I switch directions of how I curl. That's typically what I do with a curling iron. So here I'm going under and I'm wrapping it around the flat iron and then slowly bringing that end through the plates and then continue wrapping. So I keep wrapping. There's a nice little spot at the top which doesn't get hot, so that part's nice. And I'll show you here in a second that, oop, look, I got a more, more of a curl. So I was very happy about that. Um, my purchase was, you know, it didn't suck completely. So. It does feel cheap, I do have to say. The product itself feels super cheap. But it does work um, pretty well, actually. So I'm just going to go through the whole thing and flat iron curl the whole thing. So the twist does help with the flat iron curl. Well, you just have to play with it. So I'm going to let you watch the rest and I will chat with you in a bit. Have fun watching.
Did you miss me? Yep. Anyway, um, now I decided I would twist the little sides back. Give a little extra something something to my doll head, you know, with her long, beautiful hair. So I twisted the hair back and got my bobby pin and pinned it in there. Um, I do this to my own hair. Um, it's easy. It stays off my face and cools me down when I'm, like, hot. So I like this style. So um, I'm pinning it. Um, sometimes it takes one bobby pin, sometimes it's two. If it's loose, secure it with another bobby pin. Um, I'm just taking two both sides, doing that little twist motion, grabbing hair as I twist, leaving a little bit out just for, um, for effect. And um, got my bobby pin and slid it in. Secured the hair back and um, make sure it's nice and secure. Um, it felt loose still, so another pin goes in. So just as many pins as until you feel secure. That one was causing me trouble. So we just fixed it. No problem. So um, I'm just making sure that the hair isn't going a little crazy. Adding another pin to secure that piece so it doesn't fall apart. And um, fluff everything up. And the the flat iron, the curved plates, um, it was pretty cool. It gives it um, a more, you know, beachy curl once you um, comb it out. Um, I use my fingers to rake everything out, as you saw that before. So now I'm using my rat tail comb and just pulling the pieces that are already loose, making sure I like the way it looks, all purdy. And she's got a fun little beachy waved curl in there. So the flat iron, the curved plates were pretty cool overall. I'll be playing with it on my own here, I'm sure. So it, it's a neat little thing to um, play around with. So here we go. Nothing like fixing pins that are just coming apart. So secure that one again. That's the fun of bobby pins. So it was fun overall to um, play with a new gadget. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead, do it now, do it now. And like this video, give me a nice thumbs up. And comment down below to see, um, tell me what you think of those curved plates or wish or anything like that. Chat with me, chat below. So don't forget, like this video, do it. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you all. Toodaloo, see you next time. Bye-bye.